Hello! Through the makeup here, welcome to another episode of Let's Pray Mother 3. This cave looks complicated. Um, Alright, I guess I'll go upwards for the moment. There isn't really anywhere else to go, so. Okay, I don't know if it's bleeping is because it's alarm was successful or if it's bleeping because it's on. I don't remember how to pause things this. But that worked quite well. Hard to tell how heavily to um, use magic against these things. I hope that that would cause strangeness, but it doesn't. Thanks, they sir. At least with this, it has a greater chance. Okay, at least one of them hit something. Alright, I don't think, yeah, I didn't think that would cause strangeness on it, but we might as well try. I think it's ticking, but it's just sounding an alarm. Might as well go this way. Might as well keep on getting experience points as well. They're not that bad though, in terms of um, how much damage they can do. Uh, these guys, on the other hand, are pretty irritating. Um, yeah, these things explode. It's not good. Now, I think ice can eventually cause numbness. Yeah, see, they, they cling to a character and work as bombs, essentially, might be a good idea to get rid of them fairly quickly. Alright, so yeah, you can see it's counting down until it destroys them. Still, I like the music for this, why it sort of builds up. Better use pretty powerful magic attacks if I end up fighting any of them. Hoping that this just leads to some items and not um, to the boss or whatever, otherwise I'm going to have to just go backwards through here to get the items. Okay, good. At least I'm going to get more powerful as time goes on.
that sounds quite helpful. Okay, now, now I'm gonna show. Well, no, I suppose I might as well show off myself, uh, giving it to Lisa. There we go. It's a pity I'm using up a lot of uh, magic on these things, but... Okay, I've got a feeling this could be the boss. Now, I could go back to the, to the other side of the cave and see what's there. I admit, I'm quite reluctant to do that. We'll see what happens after the boss. Alright, I should be, um, fully healed now. Fortunately, I don't remember this thing being particularly hard to defeat. It's kind of a weird boss, this. I'm not sure it does anything at all. Uh, this should um, work quite well. So the wrong stance. And now I'm going to add to his misery by killing him, or at least making him unconscious. Yeah, this is basically all that he does. Don't remember him having too much uh, HP either. I'm not really sure that counts as boss, actually. I got three experience points. And that's it. Okay, well, evidently this was not the right way to go. And I should be going the other way. Okay, if you manage to uh, freeze them, I don't think they can actually explode. Oh, you again. Huh. Okay. Well, it seems those things are not affected by fire. Fair enough. Wasn't a good experience for the metal monkey. Well, I am going to... I suppose I might as well see if there's a... Um, I'm not really sure how we get it. Ah, I suppose we go this way. Okay, oh sugar. Well look, I I didn't handle that very well. Um I was going to see if there happened to be a healing pool or whatever it's called on the cave on the right of here. This is one we have to explore now we haven't ex now we've explored the left entrance. I think actually I'm going to go back outside and uh, go back to the uh, healing pool or whatever uh, that's out here. So uh, I will see you in a minute when I get back to the cave. 
Okay, now as you may have noticed, sometimes I would give over two battles if there's clearly two creatures that are the same type of creature that we fought before, both in the same area, and I'm going to continue with that. Uh, man, this is a large uh, section. Um, uh, I don't want to have to go through this twice. I'm going to have to just make a guess here. These are quite interesting creatures. It's a very strange creature. I mean, no offense to it or anything, but... And I've already forgotten what uh, what this thing is weak to. Ice. Okay, actually perhaps I shouldn't be using. If I just use physical attacks and that thing it just did means nothing. Unfortunately, it has quite high hit points. I've got a feeling that you actually need to fight the negative man in order to proceed. I'm not sure why, um, where I've got that feeling from, but, well, I probably have it from remembering. Those things can actually be pretty powerful. I used the pencil rocket, which perhaps I shouldn't have done, but at the time it seemed the best, like, best thing to do. But the levels are going up, which is good. I guess I don't have a map for this outside region. Okay, I am guessing that that bit that was upwards from where we were before, the road I decided not to take, actually leads to healing items and not to where it is we need to go. So, my question is, do I go up there or... Do I go back to the cave and go there or not? I'm guessing this is her house. You know what? I'm going to go back to the cave just in case there's something important there. Then I will go back to this area here. I will see you in a minute. I just want to show you that. You may have heard something tweeting there. Yeah, uh, well I don't know if you heard it or not, but we got a fresh egg, and eventually if you don't use the fresh egg, which I think heals you a tiny bit, then you get one of these that don't really do anything, but I suppose they sound quite nice.
This is probably the wrong place. On the map. Oh no, it's not. Okay then. If these caves basically look the same as all the other caves, I might. No, oh, wait, you know what? Um, enough. Now, um, I've been doing this for quite some time. I'll finish this cave in the next episode. See you next time.